Ahead of tomorrow's first Urban County Council meeting, the Kentucky Tenants Coalition is urging Lexington to pass a Tenants Bill of Rights. This comes less than a month after many renters dealt with unlivable conditions, including at the Viridian apartment. Danielle Miskell spoke with the frustrated group just days before January's rent was due and has this follow-up. One! Yeah. Come on! Across the street from the Viridian Apartments, tenants' rights advocates stood behind renters who were speaking out for the first time. The woman responded with, and I quote, I don't care. I honestly don't care about your experience. You chose to live here. You chose to sign that lease. It's not my problem, end quote. Heather is still a tenant at the Viridian who paid the full amount of rent for this month, in spite of having just lived without running water in her apartment for a week. If you ask me, farm animals receive far better treatment than we have. What happened from December 24th through the 31st has caused myself a lot of fear. Fear of retaliation, fear of inaccurate rental history when I attempt to secure other housing. Clay Ferguson told us he didn't pay rent on the 1st. He waited until the 5th and prorated himself based on his lease agreement. I removed six days worth of rent, but ultimately on the 13th, I was advised that they accepted my January rent minus six days as concession for what happened in December. But other tenants paid the full amount and then received eviction notices. Nothing for taking off rent, nothing to help us get our stuff replaced, nothing. nothing. Stephanie Evans Kingsley with the Kentucky Equal Justice Center says in cases like what happened at the Viridian, tenants could use lawyers. A right to counsel project is eminently uh, on the horizon and the less money folks are paying out for rental units that are not safe, they can pay for health care, they can pay for food, they can pay for medicine and increase the stability and health of their families. In Lexington, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.